what is the theoretically fastest way that you could get from LA to San Francisco? It can never crash. It is immune to weather. The Hyperloop you know, is something that um, would go effectively faster than the speed of sound. Elon Musk has been talking about Hyperloop for a while, in the vaguest possible terms, until now because he's released a 57-page document outlining his plans. If you're not familiar with Musk, he's been involved or come up with PayPal, Tesla electronic cars, the SpaceX program which came up with the world's first reusable rockets and designed the Falcon rocket system for NASA. He's invested heavily in solar energy. Basically, he's had more good ideas than I've had hot dinners. And his plans for Hyperloop would involve linking two urban areas, probably no more than 1,500 kilometers apart, with a low-pressure pneumatic tube-type system sending pods carrying people from town to town at close to sonic velocity. Now, his proposals are to build a tube network from Los Angeles to San Francisco, because going much further than that, he says, would become economically unviable, and it would be cheaper to go by a supersonic plane. Now, if you just had a tube full of air with pods traveling through it, that wouldn't be quick. The friction would make the sorts of speeds that he's talking about impossible. And there have been similar plans released previously by Rand Corporation and ET3 that would be even quicker than these ones using electromagnetic suspension in a total vacuum. But the problem there is leaks. One seal or small crack on a huge tube network would stop it working. But Musk reckons he has a solution to that, which is a low pressure system instead of a total vacuum. That could cope with small leaks, but it would introduce another problem, the Kantrovitz limit. In basic terms, if the walls of the tube and the capsule are too close together, the capsule begins pushing the air in the system instead of letting it flow past. A bit like a pressure buildup in a syringe. So the Kantrovitz limit means that you have to either travel very, very slowly or build a tube with a huge diameter, in which case you can travel quicker, but you subject yourself to crushing g-force as soon as you go around the slightest bend. But again, Musk has a solution, which is to put a battery-powered electric compressor fan at the front of the pod, pumping air to the back and relieving pressure. He reckons that would work when combined with an external linear electric motor. Now, that's the same sort of one that you'd get in an electric car, but flattened. And that would accelerate the pods up to full speed and give them a power boost every now and then. So all of this has got to be ridiculously expensive, right? Well, Elon Musk reckons that he can build this for several billion dollars, which sounds like a lot, but he says it's still cheaper than the proposed high-speed rail network in California. So his proposal would be to build an elevated tube network on pylons alongside an existing highway, and that would provide a straight line, relatively few land disputes, and be able to be built in prefabricated sections. And on top of all of that, he says his plans would be more resistant to earthquakes and thermal expansion and contraction than a traditional railway. So it sounds perfect, but obviously there are skeptics. The estimates I've seen for this seem really low to me for a system that requires uh, rights of way through major metropolitan regions, which this one does. Um, even when you build an elevated, uh, say an elevated train, which we do all the time in transportation, there are substantial costs to that in terms of right-of-way acquisition, and there are always environmental lawsuits challenging your ability to try to construct such rights-of-way because people don't necessarily want new elevated things whizzing by their houses. So there are doubts as to whether or not this can actually happen. But if Elon Musk's plans can become a reality, they would be faster, cheaper, more environmentally friendly, more earthquake-resistant, more weatherproof, and less disruptive than current modes of transport. So I, for one, hope that I can travel on this within the next few years. I'd also like to see him build me a hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs>